Now, Storm Tracker 9 weather with Chief Meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Well, even though some of the official reporting stations show that we did not get above freezing, we actually did in some spots downtown, and even those that didn't certainly felt like it was warmer out there. We're starting to see a bit of a change in our air mass, meaning that we've got the winds now starting to pull up out of the south and southwest, and that helped to slush things up some this afternoon along with the sunshine. But don't let it fool you. We'll likely see everything that did start to melt today, refreeze quickly as we head overnight tonight. Black ice is what they call it officially, and that's the stuff you can't see out on the roadways. So take it easy out there. There's still a lot of snow pack across parts of the southern and central Willamette Valley, and I think that may be a bit of a sort of a cog in the wheel for us as we uh, head in towards our transition tomorrow to a more typical weather pattern, meaning showers and finally temperatures back above freezing. Right now, we've got a warm front now starting to skirt its way across parts of uh, western Washington and likely could be looking at some icing concerns across Hood River and also up around Portland early tomorrow. Those threats will shift southward in towards our neck of the woods by early afternoon. I'll get into the details here in just a second. But overnight tonight, I'm going to keep us right around 22 degrees. And again, that'll be out towards the airport, probably about 26, 27 as you get inland, which is what we'll see out towards Corvallis, 28, and some freezing fog again towards Roseburg, and just above freezing for the coast. So the rain is back tomorrow. We'll initially see some very light accumulation of freezing rain. It'll probably just be a window of maybe a couple of hours, but it may be out there because of the amount of snow that's still on the ground. If that rain hits it, it will freeze pretty quickly. And then as we get into the weekend, we'll finally start to see the warmer, more typical weather pattern move back in. And that should finally bring us back to some warmer air. Now, I've had a lot of traffic on our Facebook page, people saying, why is there a discrepancy between what we show as the official temperature and what it is downtown or where they're reading? Well, this is out at the airport, which is out on Highway 99. Downtown, temperatures right now are between 28 and around 31 degrees. So if you see that number, again, you have to sort of adjust it based on where you are. They're having a reporting error up in Corvallis. The other station is at about 27 right now, 41 in Newport, 43 in North Bend, 32 from Sun River, Roseburg, and Cottage Grove. And we're seeing the jet stream and the high pressure ridge shifting eastward and that'll allow the introduction of this warmer air mass as this rain is all coming off the Pacific. That's the good news. But watch on our next 24 hour in the storm cast here because of the cold air that's trapped close to the surface in the snow. I think as that initial wave comes through by about lunchtime, we could be dealing with some light freezing rain sticking around the ground and then again some snowfall about one to four inches up at the Cascades before it all starts to change over. Some of the warmer air scoops that cold air out and we'll finally get back to a more typical weather pattern. So showers warmer tomorrow along the coast temperatures hovering around 50 degrees will be in the low 40s tomorrow morning fog showers probably not till after I'd say late lunchtime early afternoon we'll see a few moving through some one to three inches of new snow up at the Cascades Santian Pass and the Willamette Pass areas will both be above freezing sitting at around 40 degrees with some snow showers and kind of a mix of a slow or a slushy snow rain mix out in central Oregon and we're going to hover right around 34 to 35 degrees for most of the afternoon tomorrow guys but again initially there may be a chance we could see some of that freeze over uh, earlier in the afternoon showers turning off to uh, more isolated Friday morning the coast sees another shot on Sunday and then it's pretty much back to typical weather not bad. In the Umpqua Basin, we'll see those showers tomorrow evening, overnight into Friday, and then finally, look at the overnight lows above freezing and highs back to where they should be in the mid to upper 40s. Cascades, about one to three inches of snow. Most of that should be wrapping up, and then we'll see rain showers as the snow lines jump up to around 7,000 feet. And again, we're not talking about a widespread event here, but I do think we will see some patches of isolated freezing rain before that all changes over. And you notice tomorrow's high and low will be the exact same number mm. because we'll be pumping in some of that warmer air. Finally, Finally, as we get towards Friday. Open arms. If you're thinking about making a switch with your cell phone service, put the idea on hold for just a minute. Consumer Reports can save you some money, and we're going to show you how.